Hi friends, welcome to Aitipur. In this session, we are going to see about Keyset Curses. That is Keyset Driver Curses in SQL Server. Keyset Cursor lies between a static and a dynamic cursor in its ability to detect changes. Like a static cursor, it does not always detect changes to the membership and or the order of the result set. Like a dynamic cursor, it does detect changes to the values of the rows in the result set. The key set cursor in a scale server can only move from first row to last and last to first. When the cursor is opened, the order of the rows and the membership is fixed. And the set of key that identifies the rows uniquely will be stored in a table under TemDB databases. TemDB database. Only the keys, unique keys and the keys are used to fetch rows from the original data source. While fetching the cursor, the key from the TemDB database will fetch the original data from the data source. And say a dynamic cursor, it will not accept the inset operations on the table and it only accept the delete and update operations. It does not accept the insert operations from the any other session while executing this keyset cursor in other session. We should we must know that the key set cursor on the table with unique key. Otherwise, this cursor will act as a static cursor. So, it's, uh, remember to use that uh, key set cursor on table with unique key. Otherwise, it will be act as static. Let us check with the simplest example for this. It's a student without unique key. So there is no unique key, and just yes, the column student ID and student name. Declaring the two column variables student ID and student name, and this is the cursor syntax. Declare cursor student cursor key set for select student id and student name from student order by student id then next process open the cursor and fetch next from the cursor into the declared variable column variable it's the same order student id and student name this is a fetch status is equal to 0 it you should do check whether the records are fetched or not. Just going to print the student name within this while loop assign the position for assign the next position for that cursor and close the cursor deallocate this. This is the simple syntax for this is the general syntax for cursor and we had mentioned the key set just execute this it will print the student name so in the other session in this session I'm going to enable this wait for delay command after open with the three seconds just update the student name in another session for student id 3 actual data is 3 is Peter just update with David See, updating this and update this rows figure and it says print there is no changes on 3 since we declare as a key set it's act like a static cases the actual data is David again we execute this Wait for 3 seconds and print David. So it accepts when it was closed and reopened. When the cursor is active, it will not accept the changes made by other session. 
why it's not declared by the unique key in the table so with the from the same procedure going to update going to alter with unique key student i constraint student id For this column, we enable the stored unique key constraints, and if we execute this. See, and it is the table contain. They will just reverse that. So if we execute this, and again, we need to update the student name. See, now it will accept the changes. So this is the main difference. With unique constraints for that fetched date table, if we declare, if we use the unique key column in this case, if you like us is a cursor. Otherwise, if you like us static cursor. So now the changes are accepted. Again, I'm going to update with David, but the actual data is Peter. It will be the lesser, and again the update process. So it will accept the changes. Okay, the update process will accept the changes. Now I'm going to make an insert process. See. Just I am executing the cursor. In another session, I am going to make a insert process, insert operation. See, it will not accept the insert because the key set cursors identifies the rows that the keys are freezed in the TimTB database. So while the cursor declaration and open the cursor, it will freeze the three rows in the TimDB database. While while fetching this, while fetching the data from the cursor, it means first locate the key from TimDB database and fetch the original data based on the key. So before the insert process. There is only three keys available in the TimDB database, and it will fetch the data from the original data source only for the three rows. So insert operations will not accept it within this key set cursor. The actual data is the insert process main. Within this cursor, insert operations will not accept it. So. In another process, going to delete from student where student ID is equal to two. So the first we checked with the update operations, it accepted the changes. Again, we checked with the insert operations, it will not accept the insert process. Now we are going to check with the delete process. See, before that we fetch it with the actual data. See, now it returned the four rows from the student table. Now I am executing with executing the delete process in another session. See, as I executed and the rows deleted. It just print the first row only. Because the keys are uh, four keys, there is four rows are visible in the Tim DB database. So first key value is one. It will fetch the data from the original table student 
for student name so it match and return the result set fetch it process fetch status is equal to 0 then the key is 2 the key will use 2 and it will fetch the data from the original table but there is no data for the key value 2 so it gets a fetch status minus 2 so it will terminate the process that's why it's just print the first row only if we close and reopen the cursor it, it returns a normal rows again we are going to delete one row that is 3 so this is the delete operation delete of delete process will terminate the as a based on its row level so these are the key set cases we should remember that if we use the unique key constraints in the table it will act as key set cursor actual key set cursor otherwise it will look act like a static cursor and it will not accept the insert operations it will accept delete and update operations hope this topic will be very useful to you if you like this session please like and subscribe thank you friends